my flipping goodness. I absolutely love yam. I love yam. I love cooked yam, fried yam, pounded yam, raw yam. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I just, I love yam. Any sort of yam. And this is... channel and if you're new hey hi how you doing thank you so much for tuning into my channel and welcome to royal family so today guys i have an unboxing video for you guys yes unboxing video it's not the regular regular oh i got some hair let me unbox in front of everyone type of video i'm not unboxing any hair or anything like that but what i am unboxing is some food and everybody loves food so yeah <laughs> okay so i live here, here in china if you don't know um and sometimes it's really hard for me in terms of food i get um homesick i guess because i start to miss my home cooking i start to miss my mom's cooking or nigerian food and it just gets a bit <sighs> but do 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 the great thing is actually where I live now, unlike where I used to live before a year ago, there's a lot of access in this city of Tianjin. Um, you're able to get your hands on all sorts of food, really. So that's something I'm really happy about and I'm really grateful for. Um, so today I'll be unboxing my Nigerian food stuff shopping. <laughs> I ordered a bunch of stuff from um, two um, different sellers here and they ship all the way to me from their store so basically i bought a bunch of food stuff and i think one or two skincare products and i thought i'd just unbox it <laughs> and go through everything on camera i thought it would be a good idea just to show you guys what i've got and also just to put it out there that living in china doesn't mean you have to eat chinese food 24 7 or you have to miss your home food all the time you do have access to get the food stuffs and cook it yourselves. Um, and even, for example, there are people here who also cook like homemade food and you can literally order from their kitchen and they will make it and, and sell it to you. Like I have an amazing lady here. She's also a friend. She cooks the most delicious Indian food ever. So anytime I'm feeling for Indian, I just text her, get an order in and she makes it deliciously might i say anyway yeah um i'll just start with this stuff over here I've got lots of stuff to get through but we're gonna get through it okay okay so guys i okay disclaimer here i have lived in so many different cities and countries from nigeria to england to america to china so i have a lot of um different accents and um personalities okay so they might come out at different parts of my videos and i don't know when they're gonna come or which one's gonna come out but you're gonna know see it okay <laughs> so yeah so i'm not being weird it's just it happens i might just all of a sudden become really nigerian and then all of a sudden be really british and then all of a sudden you hear my um american side which is my favorite side <laughs> anyway let's get into the video so first thing i've got is this custard powder by checkers and i usually do eat the ready-made ambrosia custards that come in the tins those are amazing but it's okay i can do it so i got custard powder um i got some golden morn and all i'm gonna say is if you know then you know you know because this this you are my sunshine my only sunshine <laughs> guys this is my childhood cereal and i can eat this thing eh when i used to force my mom to buy it for me and she'd be like at your age you're still good you eating good more i said mom did they write age there where's the age where's the age <laughs> i just love it so much so yeah, go to morn. I just put them down. Um, I've got some good old jabugari, you know. 
I prefer to drink my Gary just normally with like water and ice cubes and sugar. No peanuts, I'm allergic to nuts. But obviously you can make it as ever. I don't really like ever that much. I eat it like once in a while. I love pounded jam, that's why. Pounded jam. But yeah, Gary cassava flakes, I guess in English. Um, I've got yellow maize powder ogi. Now, I've actually never made ogi. I don't know what possessed me to buy it. <laughs> it's custard I was looking for, and I saw ogi. I thought, oh, let me buy custard and ogi. I've eaten it before, and I liked it, but I don't know how to make it. So I'm going to call my cousin and <laughs> be like, yeah, walk me through step by step how I make ogi, please. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> she lives in Canada, so I'm going to call her up. And be like, yeah. Or call my mom and my sister, but they'll probably be like, where are you after you got to learn on YouTube? So yeah, um, got some yellow base powder okay. I heard the yellow one is a bit better than the white one, but I guess it's down to preference. Yeah. What else have I got? Let's see. Um, some dried fish. This is stockfish. I believe this is what in Yoruba you say manga. So yeah, got just a little bit of stockfish because I want to make like a four, and I don't like making a four without like stockfish and stuff. So. I got beans flour. This is Ewa. And I think this is the best form to get if you want to make like akara or um yeah moi moi. I think if you're in a rush, this is the best. This is your best friend. This is your best friend, okay? So I got some beans flour because I do plan to make like akara like in a few days. So I got some peak milk, um, instant powder, full cream milk because Something really strange happened. When I moved to China, I was okay with like all the food and dairy and everything. But I noticed like a year into my stay in China, I started developing like allergies to certain things. So now I'm like completely allergic to like any type of Chinese dairy product. Like my body just won't process it. I thought this would be a good way to go because I'm not allergic to like imported stuff, just Chinese products. Okay, much better. So, last item in the bag is just zoom. So, um, I have some melon seeds here, and this is what we call egusi in Yoruba, and we use it to make a dish called egusi soup. Um, and that's also something I want to make soon, so I decided to pick up some melon seeds. Now, for the first pot. First thing I got was uh, a couple of plantains. I like my plantains quite ripe, like actually really ripe. <laughs> so I um, tend to wait for them to really ripen before I um, eat them. So yeah, got some plantains. I got some honey beans so I can cook a while. Yeah, I just thought I'd make like beans and fried stew. So I bought just a small pack of honey beans. Oh, these are scent leaves. Yeah, these are scent leaves, and I'm going to use them when I make a gussi. Um, I would admire. <sighs> Sorry, that was a little bit of Chinese. <laughs> I got some McVitie's all butter shortbread because shortbread is like the best biscuit ever. It's so smooth and buttery, and it melt on your tongue <laughs> so definitely some shortbread i also got um some titus sardines um because these are the most legit sardines out there <laughs> i got this huge fat tuba of yam i absolutely love yam i love yam i'm gonna be eating this today and the last thing i got from this box is some, these, these are locust beans. <laughs> these are locust beans, some people call them dawa dawa, they are iru, everything, anything you want to call them. They do smell extremely strong. So when you cook with them, it's okay. They make everywhere smell. And when you eat them, <laughs> I advise you not to put lots of this in your cooking, otherwise your breath will stink. So that's this box done. Now, this box. Yeah. So I got this from 
Okay, so the first stuff I showed you was from someone called Praise. Mimi is great. She's got everything. Like you could ask for the most like African or Nigerian or Ghanaian product and Mimi will have it. So yeah. Oh yeah, cool. So I bought some black soap. Oh, okay. Open. But I bought some doodle soap some black soap. This is what I use to wash my face. I've been using it for years. It's amaze balls. I love it so much, but um, I hope you can see it. Yeah, it's just black soap and it works really, really well for my skin, I think. It's all natural. It's made with um, palm oil, cocoa pod ash, palm bunch ash, shea butter, water, pure honey, lime juice, oshun, which is oshun, oshun, I don't know, but cam, cam wood. Um, aloe vera, lemon juice, and a little bit of fragrance. So it is literally natural products and works well for me. So I bought um, two of those because I can't be running out of this. Like, oh god, I know what this is. I'm happy. This is Ayola pounded yam flour. Okay, some pounded yam. I just got two bags of these, and I'll be keeping those to eat when I make a goosey stew. Mm. Wow, man, I can't wait. <laughs> is oh bitter leaf. This is bitter leaf. This is, I got also to make um, echo seed with. So I will use scent leaves and um, bitter leaf and spinach and the echo seed and everything. Yeah, bitter leaf. Oh, this smells so good. Guys, I love the smell of crayfish. <laughs> Is that a weird thing? Is that a weird thing to love the smell of? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I just got like dried crayfish. This is amazing to have around because, because you can use this um, in um, your ekusi. You can use it when you make vegetable stew, um, like eforiro. Um, you can use it on lots of other things, but I love to put it in my ekusi and in my eforiro, so I've got some of that. Um, and the last thing in here is, these are uziza seeds, uziza seeds, and I use them when I make ekusi, so, yeah. I did order this! I didn't even, I didn't even see this when I checked to count that everything was complete. Oh my god, I'm so happy! <gasps> Milo, ah, Tolu, you are a smart girl. Tolu of yesterday, look at Tolu of today. Be more like Tolu of today. <laughs> like, I did not know that I bought Milo. I think I didn't remember. But today, when I woke up, the first thing I thought of was, ah, I wish I had hot chocolate. And, now I do. I'm just so happy because I haven't had hot chocolate in an immensely long amount of time. Oh, Milo. 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 <laughs> if you know that, then you're the real MVP. If you know that little thing I just did, you're a real Nigerian. Only 19 Naira. This is straight from Nigeria. It even has Naira on it. That makes me feel like so homely. But anyway, guys, um, I bought some Indomie because when you are tired as hell, I need a quick meal that's still delicious. Indomie is the way to go. I don't know what anybody else has told you, but Indomie all summer. Indomie all 2019, okay? So onion chicken is my favorite flavor. Um, so I just bought like, I think 18 or 12 I bought of these. This is six. Okay, so I bought 12. Oh, one more item in the box. One more item, and I definitely know what this is. <laughs> so last thing I got, guys, is um, dried catfish. It just looks like this. It's like dried and smoked, and then it's delicious to put in dishes like vegetable stew, like a fori roll, or um, a goosey, which is what I bought it to use it in. I'm gonna make a goosey, so I wanted to have dried catfish, stockfish, um, and scent leaf, bitter leaf, everything. I just want everything in my egg -usi. So yeah, that's the last thing I got. That's it. That's all the things I bought, guys. I just thought I'd share it with you because I thought it was kind of like nice to be able to 
being in China but still eat like you were in Nigeria or something. And I think a lot of people may not know that. A lot of people have the misconception that living in China, you, you don't have access to lots of different types of stuff, but you do. There are people here who um, sell like Nigerian foodstuffs or Indian foodstuffs, whatever country you're from, you can probably get a lot of your food things here. Not to talk of the fact that we have import stores as well. So if you're from countries like America, the UK, places like that, um, Poland, then you can get lots of stuff from your home country just in an import store. So yeah, that's it for this unboxing video, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't weird to show you like my shopping. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And see you in my next video. Bye.